um, he's the the, the uh, multiple model builder. Well, this is the end of my um, COVID <laughs> builds. I built seven. Seven. Can you actually build seven kits in three years? You can. Yeah, I know you can. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, um, oh, come on. And they're all. Um, they're all beautiful. Well, they're all okay. Um, they all had, uh, almost all had a particular meaning to me. Uh, the first one here, the U2, it's the uh, 172 scale academy kit mm. that's very old and definitely shows its age um, in, um, in what you get out of the box. Um, I chose to build, uh, represent the aircraft flown by Major Rudolf Anderson, oh, who goodness. flew the aircraft over Cuba <clears throat> during the missile crisis in 1962, and the Russians slash Cubans decided to shoot it down. 20 year <clears throat> class rates, wasn't it, Jim? <laughs> so Jim? That's why Jim went to tankers. That's right, yeah. Right. They, don't shoot, they don't shoot Sam's at tankers. Of gas, yeah. <laughs> Hot food, bathroom. <laughs> so the, um, uh, the decals are from uh, Caracal decals. Um, there are no actual photographs of the plane in its pre-shoot-down state. There are only a couple photographs of the aircraft being displayed in various parts of Cuba after it was shot down. Why didn't you build it that way? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Maybe next time. Yeah, nice diorama. If, when oh. it falls, yeah, when it falls off the, uh, the display <laughs> desk or something, yeah, I might do that. Um, I uh, didn't have any um, detail sets to get for it. There are none. Um, I didn't uh, have the opportunity to do really a lot with it because, honestly, that uh, um, windscreen and canopy are... Uh, very small and very thick. There are no aftermarket uh, windscreens or canopies, so you can't see very much in the cockpit at all. Although I did try to um, add some detail um, to the um, display panel and uh, add some seat belts and stuff to it. But did you have to uh, paint the white the cover on there? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That would that would hide all the. That, that hides anyway, yeah. all the detail anyway. There's, you know, there's, uh, you know, obviously the pilot can see a little bit in the uh, forward section of the canopy and the windscreen, but mm -hmm. yeah, most everything would be hidden. Um, so the aftermarket decal uh, set was specifically for? Specifically for this aircraft. Uh, from research that they did, they determined that this is, according to their research, mm -hmm. what it likely looked like. But it is the correct tail number. So um, I had to use some um, aftermarket um, numbers to get the um, uh, the tail number correct uh, for the kit. So what color did you paint that? It's not. It's uh, black. Dark uh, uh, dark navy blue. Dark navy. Yeah, which is uh, the color that. The uh, early uh, CIA birds and uh, the early uh, U-2s actually uh, uh, flew with, yeah. uh, not black. Um, yeah, they, they went to black when the airplane became the TR-1. That's right. a much longer yeah. wingspan, different fuselage. Right, yep. yes. Uh, yeah. So, um, unfortunately, I uh, broke the little wing stands, the pogo sticks that oh. go under the wings. But, That's be uh, delicate, huh? yeah, yeah, they are. That scale? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um, I added a few details into the uh, forward um, landing gear bay, uh, an extra arm or two there. Uh, I had to uh, scratch build the rear wheels because they, uh, they broke. Mm. I'll try not to shake it oh, you're fine. as much as my hand wants to shake. But um, altogether, it was mostly a built out of a desire to build um, and represent the kit, uh, a kit of the aircraft that he yeah, flew. Yeah, historical. Yeah. yeah. yeah.
So it uh, kind of meant something to me. Is that black or dark sea blue? It's dark sea blue. Did you hear what he said? You were busy texting. He was, he was texting. He was busy. Uh, he had his phone out. Facebook. Yeah. Dawn, this is boring. I'll be home soon. <laughs> So, um, that's it for that one.